When the crimes being committed are just too large for the local police officers and they're too small for the Avengers, who do you call? The Punisher. Welcome to the Complete Story Series, where we take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. Then we read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panel's text and images are to prevent copyright problems, and all art is owned by its respective company. The Punisher has been holding his breath for what seems like forever, but he lets his lungs relax as he finally climbs up onto a boat. Two men drop to the shots in the head that he gives them, and then a massive explosion nearby destroys the cash and drugs that were here. He then takes his rifle out to the lead thug's head. Who do the drugs go to? And the thug stammers, I, I, I don't know, I, I don't know where they go. They, we just dropped them here. But the Punisher doesn't play games as he shoves the muzzle of his rifle into the thug's mouth. Who do the drugs go to? The thug takes the tip of the rifle and tries to steer it away. Please, I can't. So the Punisher shoots his hand off. Don't touch my gun. Give me a name or you're gonna try your luck with the Crocs. With tears in his eyes as he holds his mutilated hand, the thug gives him the name Hector Guarez, and then he pleads for the Punisher to let him go. You told me, but here's the thing, your drugs hurt a lot of people, the Punisher says coldly, as he kicks the guy into the river, and I swam way too far to just wound you. The next morning, Frank Castle finds himself in a diner in downtown Los Angeles. After breakfast at a diner that just doesn't know that he's the Punisher, he leaves and he meets up with his contact where he gets a lot of guns and he goes after Hector. He's a well-known member of the cartel, so it doesn't take very long to find him. Frank follows behind him in a truck, trying to gather intel and figure out this guy's moves. But then he gets bored. So he steps out of his truck in the middle of LA traffic and launches a canister of tear gas through Hector's back window. As his bodyguards get out of the car coughing, Frank shoots them both and then grabs Hector, dragging him into his own truck. He then handcuffs him to the passenger side and heats up the cigarette lighter as they drive off. Hector, where are they packing the drugs? Even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you. But Frank's heard enough, so without even taking his eyes off the road, he pulls out the cigarette lighter and shoves it into Hector's face. Due to this, Hector rather quickly complies and they travel to where the drugs are being packaged. Hector explains that this whole building is owned by the Dull Souls Cartel, and there are guards all the way up to the top, along with cameras. Even if he gets up to the top, the guys who are packing the drugs have their own guns, and they've been ordered to shoot intruders. The Dull Souls own this town, and you can't do anything about that, Frank. So Frank gets out of his car, with Hector screaming, at least lose these cuffs so I'm not stuck here when they kill you. But Frank just continues to go to his trunk, and he pulls out a javelin. I never planned on going in. He then fires the rocket straight at the building, destroying the entire top floor in one explosion. He then just coldly walks away, while blowing up his own car with Hector inside. The next morning, Frank goes to the diner as per usual and he gets his cup of coffee. Lou, the diner owner, goes on about how the police officer Sam couldn't make it this morning. But she was asking about Frank. When he asked what she was asking about, Lou told him that she just kind of likes stray dogs. So Frank corrected him. I'm more of a coyote. Well anyway, Lou continues, the Punisher is in town, so she must be busy. But we need the Punisher in these parts more than we need the Avengers. And that causes Frank to look up from his coffee to ask, why is that, Lou? Because, Frank, everyone isn't afraid of the Avengers. Meanwhile, off where the police are looking for any evidence as to where the Punisher is located, three individuals are standing out of sight. The cops won't find the Punisher, you know, one of them says. But we will. You don't call in the Howling Commandos for nothing. Frank got that day off and he spends the next morning back at the diner with Lou and Sam before heading off on his next mission. His next mission turns out to be where Sam is pinned down by the cartel and the cartel's not playing around and they're not about to let some cops ruin their day. They're pinned down behind the officers' cars. And the day gets really bad when one of the fellow officers next to Sam gets a lightning bolt to the chest and drops dead. Sam panics and has no idea what to do, when suddenly the Punisher arrives telling her to get down. Wearing a mask so that nobody knows that Frank and the Punisher are one and the same, he drops everyone out in the open without much hassle, except for the few of them that get away in a truck filled with drugs and a pickup truck that's following them, providing support. He hops on his motorcycle and he chases after them, yelling for Sam to secure the area as he leaves. He begins by cutting across a movie set, jumping over the pickup truck and lobbing a grenade into the bed of the truck, 
Then he gets in front of them, popping a wheelie as an explosion goes off behind him. He begins to gain on the large truck and he gets ready to blow out his tires, but he suddenly finds himself on the ground from a shock of what looks like a lightning bolt. He looks up to see the truck speeding away, wondering what the heck just hit him. The next day while he's driving his RV along the Pacific Coast Highway, and wondering what kind of a weapon could have done that to him yesterday, he finds himself being hit by it again out of the blue with no warning, and it flips his RV over. He quickly grabs a rifle and crawls out all bloody and battered, and he looks up to see exactly what weapon the Dole Souls are using. Electro, the electricity-based supervillain. Frank goes into automatic mode by opening fire, but Electro just bounces the bullets away from him. Can't you feel it, Frank? The city is full of power, and I get to taste all of it! Frank finds himself thrown against the hood of a car, and he tells the people inside, Get out of here! Now! Just go! Just as the Electro zaps the windshield of that car. Frank then crawls underneath a nearby car and blows it up, providing the distraction that he needs to get out of there and regroup. But as he's leaving, Electro shouts, The city's gonna burn, Castle, and you're gonna burn with it! Electro then goes back to the leader of the Dole Souls because they asked him to show up because he was kind of throwing cars across the highway, bringing a lot of attention to himself. But he informs them, I'm not your lackey. I'm only here because AIM asked me to be. Meanwhile, Frank is torturing members of the cartel to get the next drug location. And he's going to keep fighting this, but a little more prepared because now he knows Electro's here. He skips breakfast the next morning, leaving Lou and Sam wondering where that guy Frank is at and he prepares to break into the next facility by killing everyone in his path. This isn't justice anymore, he thinks to himself. It's extermination. He makes short work of the entire cartel, and there's nothing there that can stop him. That is until Electro gives him a shock, throwing him to the ground. I guess he wasn't as prepared for Electro as he thought he was. He's dragged upstairs and tied up so that Electro can torture him for fun, but Frank waits for the perfect moment to kick off of Electro's chest and push his chair out of the window. He lands on the ground in front of a bunch of thugs and Dole Soul's master weapon sitting next to him. This isn't about drugs. It's about a weapon? That's why Electro is involved, he thinks to himself. He grabs the canister and he throws it at the thugs. And while they fumble to catch it, Frank makes short work of the group by taking their guns from them. More and more men run into the room with Frank shooting them dead, but the leader of the Dole Souls has already left with Electro. Above him, he sees a bunch of light bulbs break and realizes this isn't good and the whole building blows up around him. Frank easily survives his explosion, and he begins to prepare for his next little, uh, meeting with the cartel. He spends a little time preparing, but something interesting happens. His contact, Tugs, gets tied up and left in his own house. Nothing stolen, no one injured. It's a message to Frank, Frank thinks, and as he's trying to figure out who would send him that message, all of the lights in the city go out. Electro has set off a massive blackout. On patrol, Officer Sam sees two thugs trying to loot a house in the blackout. So she steps up and tells them to put their hands in the air. Instantly, she's shot in the chest and only saved by her bulletproof vest. So she fires back at them and she begins to beat the thugs for shooting at her, telling them, the bullet stops with the badge won't. The whole city's plunging into chaos with the dull souls moving through building by building dropping guards and other cops are getting shot by more random looters. The leader of the Dole Souls begins to rant about how this gas will bring the city to its knees and he'll own Los Angeles. But as he's ranting, they have to stop their car because in front of them, the Punisher is standing there. And he doesn't say anything as he lobs a grenade underneath their car. The car explodes and the thugs try to get out to fight with the Punisher, but he shoots them all dead. And he then lobs another grenade at the car, blowing it up again. Boy, he really loves explosions. Guillermo, the leader of the Del Souls, grabs his briefcase and he begins to run into the street with Frank standing on top of the wreckage that used to be his car. Guillermo! Frank shouts as he shoots him in the leg and then he walks over. This ends now. It's time that you paid for your sins. Oh, not yet, my friend, Guillermo tells him as a bolt of electricity hits Frank in the chest again. He's blasted through the storefront of a building and as he gets his bearings, he looks up to see Electro back. I couldn't leave this town without finishing our business, Castle! With Frank busy, the leader of the Dole Souls gets up and begins to run off with his briefcase. But Frank gets back up, prepared to fight. I'm not afraid of death, Electro. That's a weakness of men. And I'm the Punisher! And he opens fire on Electro again. But Electro just bounces the bullets off like last time. You're suicidal, Frank, Electro tells him. And he shocks him again. But Frank just changes his clip and opens fire again. All of the bullets hit Electro this time though, dropping him to the ground. Rubber bullets, 
hurt like hell, don't they? And with that statement, Frank begins to walk up on Electro and put the muzzle of his rifle into Electro's eye socket. I wonder what would happen if I shot one of these through your eye. But then, he's kicked upside the head by Domino, another assassin from AIM. Electro and Domino leave and they climb onto their helicopter to get the heck out of there. I can't believe I had to stop the Punisher from kicking your ass, Domino tells Electro. Meanwhile, the leader of the Dole Souls has made it quite far, and he leaps into another waiting car. Okay, LA, time to die, he says as he pulls out the trigger, and he prepares to press it, when suddenly all of the windows in his car are blown out as Frank fires on it. It flips over as the driver loses control, and Frank just walks up to the turned over car. I'll never spend a day in prison, Gilmaro tells Frank as he gets closer. I think you have me mistaken with the police. I'm the pu- And before he can finish his sentence, the car explodes, throwing him back. What in the- Frank says as he looks around to see a drone flying overhead. He stumbles away thinking to himself, It's a victory, but it sure doesn't feel like it. He drops into the subway so he can make his way to his hideout, but as he goes down there, he sets off a tripwire, and another explosion rocks him. At the other end of the tunnel, he can see three special operations soldiers approaching him. The Howling Commandos are here to finish off Frank Castle. He quickly drops away from the scene, but they are relentless and they keep going. I gotta get away. It's time for me to leave LA, Frank thinks. But as he gets to his stashed car, it also explodes. All right, this isn't funny anymore. I'm sick and tired of getting blown up, Frank thinks, as he looks around to see the Howling Commandos clearing the parking garage. He tries to make it for an exit, but they just open fire on him again, forcing him to roll over the side of the parking garage. Hanging off the side, Frank says to himself, I can't do it. I can't win. One of the commandos then walks over and shoots him off the side, and he falls on the top of a bus. We got him, the commander says. I got him with a tracer. As the bus is carrying him away, Frank thinks to himself, Why do I do it? Why not give up, give in, and accept defeat? Because I don't fight for victory. Not in war, not in peace, not on the battlefield, not here. I fight, we fight, that is those who punish evil, because the evil and the scum of the streets, the aggressive and the violent criminals, their victory is not when they kill the innocent or destroy a city. It is when good men stop resisting them. The Howling Commandos get back up in the parking garage, and they load up a special round, a homing round. They fire it at Frank and it follows the tracer straight into Frank's chest. He then collapses on the roof of the bus as it continues to drive away. We take out the bad guys, the commander of the Howling Commandos says. And that's the end of the first trade for the Punisher from 2014. Now I'm going to let you guys know right now he's not dead. There is a second trade to this and we discover how he survived this attack. If you guys want it, give this video a like so we know you enjoyed the Punisher story and you want more. I actually ended up liking this story and I didn't think I would initially, but hey, we all find stories that we don't like occasionally. I'm Benny for Comic Story, and follow us on Twitter at Comic Story. And if you want to check out other great videos, check the ones that are on screen right now. I'll see you guys next time right here.